Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So um, recently Microsoft decided to start putting ads in the Windows 11 start menu. While the ads doesn't come off as intrusive ads, a lot of users, myself included, don't like the idea of having ads in the start menu. Now the ads are expected to be displayed in the recommended section of the start menu, and it's already been rolled out to users gradually. But if you're like me and you want a cleaner Windows 11 start menu experience, like so, Stick around and watch the video to the end as I'll be showing you how you can disable the recommended section and stop ads from ever displaying in your Windows 11 start menu. Let's jump into it. So um, to disable the recommended section and stop ads from displaying in your Windows 11 start menu, we'll be making use of a third party tool called WindOck. Now, Windows is a customi Windows customization tool that allows you to change the look and feel of your Windows 11 PC. Now, the app is packed with a bunch of uh, mods that you can actually apply, install and apply on your Windows 11. But what we'll be focusing on in this, in this video is the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler, which I already have installed. Now, the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler offers um, four different options. Now, the first one is basically removing the recommended section from your start menu completely. Now you have this other uh, Windows style that looks like what we should be having in the next um, major Windows 11 major update. And then you have two other variations that you can actually try out. Now, these mods are actually pretty easy to install and I'm going to show you just how to go about that. Let me remove uh, this. Let's remove mod yes and uh, let's close this as well now if i open my start menu you should go back to the normal windows 11 start menu as you can see so now what you need to do is um open your browser and search for wind up it should be the first uh, link in your search results which is this now click on it We'll give that a moment to load and you should be brought to this page. Now, once you're on this page, you simply need to go ahead and click on the download button. I don't need to download, I already have it downloaded. So let's cancel that and close um, the browser. Then we don't need the browser. Now you open your download folder and then you double click on the setup to install. I'm just going to click on the reinstall option to show you um, the whole set of process from the start. So let's click on install. Uh, so let's give it a moment. Okay, once the app on is installed so cl click on the finish button and you can close um the folder so let's click on ok click on cancel now to run the app you simply need to um let me search using the start menu uh, right click and run the app as an admin as administrator yes But, uh, let's give the app a moment to load the resource. So once the app has loaded, it should um, present you with this interface. And then you click on the Explore tab to load all the mods. And from the search, well, just search for um, Start Menu. And it should bring this uh, click on the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler Details. Then proceed to click on Install. Accept risk and, uh, the risk and install. Now you should also note that these uh, mods and the tool itself are actually open source and you can actually um, look through the code to make sure that you're not installing um, a fraud um, program in your system. So it's pretty legit and it's I should be fine installing this program on your PC. So the let's give the installation um a little more time. So 
Okay, now we have the Windows 11 start menu style installed. But now the next thing you want to do is you choose um, from the list of theme the one you want to install. Now, if you simply want to remove the recommended section, you go ahead and click on the no recommended section. Now, this should open the GitHub page. Now, you also find the installation instruction on the page. So now click on the content to import and this should expand into this code and you simply copy this code. I go back to the wind box and tool and then you click on the advanced section. I scroll down to mod settings. Now you can highlight and delete existing um, code and paste the new code you just copied and click save. Now if I click on the start menu, the recommended section should be gone. As you can see. And if you want to go further to install um, a new and improve the Windows 11 side by side uh, menu, and just this like um, just as we've done with the no recommended section, you click on the side by side option. Now this should open another um, GitHub page containing the installation code. Let's click to import the content. Now copy the code. Go back to the wind arc um, tool. Click on advance. Go to mod settings. Highlight the code. Delete and paste new code and click save. Like so. Now click on, if I click on the Windows start menu this time around, you should see I have the new and improved Windows 11 start menu. However, the recommended section is back. So how do you fix this? I go back to the tool and I click on settings. Now once you're on the settings page, now with this um, first drop down that you have on the theme um, settings, click on it and you simply select the no recommended section. That's all you need to do. Now the same applies if you um, install any of the other two Windows 11 start menu and you click on save. Now this should remove the recommended section and you should have your start menu display like so, which is neat. So um, that's it for this video. If you're enjoying content like this, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.